Welcome to this Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to build this Greek fountain. First we need to remove some uh, dirt. One, two, three. And three more here, and these three, and on each side, and three in the middle. Then we fill some of these gaps up with quartz blocks and there, and one on each side there, and in the middle. Then we add two columns, one on the left side. So two needs to be four, three, four, and then one here, one, two, three, four. Then for the next part, we add quartz blocks, fill it up, oops, and then we have three more here and one on the top. Then we then we uh, remove this one, this one, this one, and put in chisel quartz. And then we remove this one for the water. For the next part, we add stairs. One there, one there, and on the other side the same. There, one there, and two here on the bottom. Then we add slabs, one there, one there, and one on the top. We can also add slabs here, but that's uh, up to you. I like having it open so I can see the water flowing. Then on the back side we add almost to the top Lots of ports in one, oops, one big wall, and then we add stairs on the top, one in the middle, and two in the side, so it ends up like this for a detail. Then for the next part, we add lighting, automatic lighting. Then we need to put, remove this quartz block and then we uh, find redstone lamp. We need redstone and we don't need those. We need sticky piston to make a real cheap on materials. Uh, but effective automatic lighting. We remove this one and we place daylight sensor on top. Remove the dirt and then we add a sticky piston beneath that way. Flip upside down and we have the dirt. Remove dirt around this one using this dirt connected to this uh, sticky piston in order to cut off this uh, this uh, redstone dust when it gets dark the daylight sensor on top here will receive no light then it will retract this sticky piston and also this block of dirt and then this lamp will light up which you will see quite soon let's see repair that and then we stop this one
now we wait. There, lights are quite good. And then we add water. water and vines for a little detail. There, it flows down nice and smooth. And then we add vines. And some of on the back. And it will grow on its own. So there you have it. A nice Greek fountain that you can either have uh, on this on the floor level or you can attach it to a wall on a big building. It's up to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.